Hello everyone, um, I'm Gail Johnson of Enforces Haven and just want to wish you a fabulous time at your conference, your sixth annual conference. But I know that things have been tough and I know that with the ARV rollouts, everyone feels, are oh, we still worth it in the marketplace and things like that. Please believe me, you are. Uh, what we are finding, and I think this is where maybe your input can assist tremendously, um, is the amount or the level of defaulting that we are coming across. Not necessarily at Horses Haven, because we practice DOT, but people who are being admitted to us. There is a definite gap between the clinics as well as and, and the patient. And of course our teenagers. We need to do drastic intervention there. So hold your banner up high. Know that we need you and all the luck in the world. Hi, my name is Yusuf Bauder and as a friend of TAC, I am proud to be associated with and to send my comradely greetings to the 6th National Congress. TAC has been a trailblazer in averting the catastrophe we faced in the early 2000s with the refusal of the Mbeki government to in initiate the ARV program. That victory has long been secured, but we continue to face major challenges. Today, the prices of drugs for many life-threatening conditions remain unaffordable because pharmaceutical companies are aggressively enforcing their patents on needed drugs. I have worked with TAC and others in advocating for the reform of our patent laws to support the constitutional promise to ensure equitable access to health care for all. I am pleased that the government has at last released a draft policy which, while not without its flaws, represents a huge step forward. TAC can rightly claim much credit for this success. But there is still a lot of work to be done. Our health infrastructure is crumbling and this threatens to cancel out the gains that we have made. At the core of this problem is the failure of governance. As highlighted in recent civil society protests, corruption and maladministration are rife at the highest levels. There is a total lack of accountability and transparency in many institutions, including in the health sector. As a leading civil society organization, the role of TAC in the period ahead is crucial. Together, we have to both defend the gains made and tackle the corruption, maladministration, and the lack of accountability in ensuring that our people receive the health care that they deserve. I wish you luck in your discussions and I'm, and I'm confident that you will emerge stronger from this Congress. Amandla, Aluta Continua, Viva TAC. Dear comrades from TAC, from the northern tip of Africa, Morocco, I would like to wish you a successful Congress. TAC has been a pioneer in HIV activism in Africa and in the Global South in general. Your treatment literacy mobilization, your social media campaigns, your public protests, your legal challenges until your famous HIV positive t-shirt has inspired all of us in our fights. Today, funding is dwindling. Some would say activism is dying, but HIV is still on the rise. Organizations like TAC are needed now more than ever. While huge progress has been made, the AIDS response is being challenged and undermined by dysfunctional healthcare systems and shortages of healthcare workers. Now it is time to fix the broken public health systems not to mention to ensure access to affordable treatments for all other diseases. We need to grow more issue-based organizations like TAC to ensure that activism does not die. And we challenge policies and decisions that perpetuate the rise in HIV incidences. Good luck for your con Congress. Dear comrades, keep fighting. Viva TAC.